Right, guys, I want to quickly talk about the state of the situation in some care homes that's obviously been exacerbated and further enabled by the lockdowns and evil policies that's actually prevented people visiting their loved ones in these care homes. The fact that families couldn't visit them is not only a breach of their human rights to family life, it's also cruel in every sense of the word, that, and it's also more likely to put the residents at greater risk of mistreatment. Remember, a family visiting them there is often not only there to help the person in care, it also sort of acts as a quality control when it comes to the actual care given. If the family visits often, the care home must ensure the resident is clean, well looked after and all of that because the family's gonna pull up on it if not. Clearly, lockdowns and shit like that stopped a hell of a lot of that going on, which gives us stories like the one we've got here, where a care home resident was found with layers of filth attached to her feet and shit on the bathroom floor. This all happened apparently within a month, so if that can happen like that within a month and a woman's feet looks like this, imagine what happened during the first lockdown and longer ones that happened after it. Naturally, this enrages me a bloody lot, but something else that enrages me is the media today completely ignoring the massive elephant in the room when it comes to the care home staffing situation. Yes, the media are today talking about care homes closing down due to staffing and money of course, but not once in this article do they even mention the care home no jab no job bullshit that C40,000 staff sacked just three months ago now. That is completely missing from the article which talks about the situation like they care when ignoring that simple fact shows they don't, and in fact only want more money while covering their own asses when it comes to blame over the past two years. As you know, the media fully supported no jab, no job and all of that lunacy there while they've all tried to sweep it under the carpet now and focus on scamming more money as per usual. But then again, airbrushing out history is what they love to do these days, let's be honest, it is part of why they're called scum media after all.